that mm. Mm. people did not want to share the land to the Mathi. Mm. Why? Because Mathi are dominant into the valley and where we valley people wanted to get the land. Hello everyone, welcome to Pluto's IS. Today we are going to discuss about Manipur Valens. You know that uh, this had been for a long one year and this, there is no proper solution for this one. And recently so many violence we have seen in the newspaper also. And recently Indian government had also uh, extended OPSPA, especially in Manipur. So today we will discuss that what is the main historical, geographical and political issues in this violence. Uh, how should we understand this? What is its solution? Why Indian government is unable to find the solution of this one? Uh, what is the cultural identity also? Is there any international uh, organizations playing important role here or not? So today with us we have uh, Achya sir, a renowned faculty at Lotus IS and I am Jitan Kumar myself. We will discuss on this topic in detail and we will also suggest to that what is the way forward for this uh, problem. Okay. So Achya sir, could you please tell us that what is the main geographical factor, historical factor or political factor which is important to understand this Manipur balance. Uh, yes, sir. thank you uh, for this uh, giving me opportunity. So, uh, sir, uh, Manipur basically, you know, the uh, uh, boundary state of our country is again seems comparatively a much isolated state. Mm. Being a part of the Purvanchal Hills and that Himalaya, like historically, even if you consider, it has, uh, you know, able to maintain its individual identity, its own mm. identity. So, in this region, you will find the topography, culture and, you know, uh, the uh, influence of extra external forces has made, I believe, this issue further more complex. Like for uh, that, uh, uh, again, the geographical case as in, right, if you consider, you know, because geography uh, over here plays a very dominant role for this crisis. Yes. Like, uh, if you consider the uh, Manipur state as in. Mm -hmm. So Manipur is basically uh, like uh, uh, you can consider it as like a, as a football ball, football, football stadium, ball. Okay. yeah, okay, football so stadium. Yeah. So like the uh, play field is like a valley, valley, wherein you will find the methis are what being located. Okay. Yeah, they are they are uh, uh, almost ten to fifteen percent of the overall population, and yeah. they occupy the whole valley region of the Manipur. Manipur. And in the high elevation or the reaches of the Manipur, mm. you will find there this Kuki people, those dominates. Okay. Okay. So mm. Kuki people. So obvious eh, like uh, uh, that valley and this uh, uh, hilly to terrain, mm. the, you know, they have a kind of tussle, always a kind of tussle that is going on between. So uh, furthermore, the uh, this topography connected with the ex, uh, Myanmar border, you know, Chinese yeah. influence, yeah. Hai, Myanmar border, hai, and it's yeah. historical context that you will uh, yeah. explain us as better in the eastern side of Manipur. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that it leads to a significant infiltration as well. Just like uh, if you consider for that case, Naga tribe. Yeah. You know? So Naga tribe and even Kuki tribe, they yeah. find a strong affiliation with the tribal groups in Myanmar. Yeah. Okay. So that's why it became so critical that or you know the issue has gone you know such complex to that extent that now government of India is getting it very difficult to find out exact solution for this case. Sir I want to ask one thing here. Huh. We know that there is a fight between Kuki and Mati because of the hill area. Right, area. right. But why Nagas are here? Nagas are involved into this fight. Uh, Nagas are basically involved, sir, due to, uh, again, uh, as the Manipur, if you consider, like, uh, in a case of three major political, uh, cultural groups, as in, okay. uh, Metis dominates the valley region, okay. Kukis dominates the hilly, hilly, region, hilly region, and in the hilly region as well, there are, like, there is another group that is Naga. Now, Naga is basically, now they are having, again, affiliation more with the Nagaland state. Because, yeah, so there is a demand actually if you like, uh, we have Naga nationalism, Naga yeah. nationalism as well. And right? we have an accord with the uh, Nagaland group as well. Yeah. So, this Naga people rather finds, you know, they have a demand mm. to have a greater Nagaland state there. Okay. So, that the is. Mithis as well as Kukis, right, they are equally having a fear that the, some of their part or land would rather, you know, be snatched towards the greater Nagaland state as well. So this is my opinion about what do you think sir about uh, like this problem? It's sir yeah, you things. have explained very nicely about geographical factor. I can never imagine about that the football stadium. Uh -huh, yeah. 
if i go into the historical context of this region we know that in the ancient time also like we had a relation with these people so na yes. like if we go to gupta time the gupta people had a it they used to have tributes from the south east asia where yes, these regions right. Assam is also mentioned in the Mahabharata, na? Ahoms, so, yeah, Ahoms. Huh. Ahoms huh. is later on. Later on. Came the twelfth okay. century, but the Assams are also mentioned in the uh, in this one. And then Tam Rupa people were ruling over these regions okay. also in the ancient okay. time. But when you come to the medieval times, Ahoms people are ruling over this area. And then if you come to modern times, especially when the Britishers were there, especially Myanmar people claim that Manipur and Assam part of the India was a part of Myanmar. and they attack on assam and manipur regions so okay. especially in the 1820s and then what happened britishers claim that assam and these region is a part of indian subcontinent so mm-hmm. they fought a battle that is known as the first burmese war that happened between 1820s to 1826 uh, 25 26 me yeah. in this war myanmar was very badly defeated and then the major region of manipur nagaland and assam become the part of british india and then they go second anglo burma uh, burmese war whole burma become the part of india Burma only separated from India in the 1935 Act. 35 Act. Right. Yes. Because of the government of India, 1935. Yes. Right. Otherwise, if India would have become independent in 1935, even Myanmar could be a part of India. India. So yeah. what happened? Myanmar, especially Manipur, if I talk about especially Manipur, had different separates. So there, there was a separate princely state in Manipur, and huh. these people, the, there is also there is a famous historian called Jan Khoman Jute. He is from Jeju only. Oh. He had written a book on Anglo-Tupi War. that they have fought war against britishers two time one in the 1890s other in the 1917 and 18 during world war 1 okay but the point is that his book proves that tupis are very powerful they have political consciousness okay then finally what happened in the 1947 eight hai na according to the instrument of accession they decided to join india hmm hai na hmm. and then finally 1949 nagaland become the uh, manipur become the part of india yes and then right. what happened in 56 manipur become the national capital territory and 72 manipur had a got a full fledged state but this problem that you sir pointed out the mathi problem naga problem and then we have the uh, the kuki problem yes, had been constantly there hmm, hmm, and then it has seen in 2000 also but right now what happened the problem lies into multiple factor i will like to discuss into three four points three okay. four main yeah. causes i yes, can sir. divide The first clause is can be the ethnic tensions that we have also pointed out. In the ethnic ten- tensions, we have land dispute that mm. Kuki mm. people did not want to share the land to the Mathi. Mm. Why? Because Mathi are dominant into the valley, and where we valley people wanted to get the land. Why? Because their land of tribals are under the protected area. Mm. Mm. Only ST mm. community people can get that land. So Mathi people, according to the recent High Court judgment, है ना 2023 Manipur High Court, right. they allowed the status for the ST to the Mathi people. Hmm. So tension is happening that Kuki people are not ready to give land to the Mathi. पहला tension है. दूसरा insurgency और militancy हो रहा है. जैसे we have the United National Liberation Front, People's Liberation Army, the Kuki National Army. These are the three hmm. important army are fighting together. Hmm. And which we have the armed forces, the special power eight officials also. So there. Three to four important groups of people who are fighting here. So these are the major problems. Apart from it, the most important problem is the ST law, that the mm. the, yeah, the right that is given to the Mathi people. So what happens? The fight is started happening. Let me tell you some examples here, sir. What happens in the present time? One of my friend is from there only, and her father is IPS officer at that at a high level post. Okay. So I was discussing with her. She told that right now, what is happening? The Mathi people are unable to. Go to the hilly, hilly area areas because they will be killed by yeah, the Kuki, yeah, right. and the Kuki people are unable to the uh, valley area. And there is also one problem, sir. I want to just take one minute for this one. Yes, sir, the please, problem sir. is that in the many government job, as my friend had told, in many of the government job, Kuki people are posted in the IPS, IAS, and the local officials, then assistant professors, academia job. Whereas the Mathi people are not in post, so these people think that these people are coming from the hilly area, and mm. they are outsider also. The Mathi people consider that Kuki people came from May Myanmar. Right. So this yes, is also right. ethnic problem are there. Okay. So they consider they are outsider and they are taking all the government jobs and we are getting nothing and they have all the land. So these mm-hmm. are the main problems we have seen, sir. That is why the problems had been nothing. So I want to ask you, sir. मतलब how to find a solution? Many people blame our PM also that we don't have solution. So what do you suggest? What is the solution? What is the committee? Some committee told something about this. So please suggest, sir. 
सर लाइक बेस्ड ऑन योर एक्सप्लेनेशन इट सीम्स कि द प्रॉब्लम यू नो दैट दिस इज जस्ट मेयरली सिम्टम दैट इज द रूट लाइज ओवर इन दिस्टोरिकल प्रॉब्लम है ना सो द सोल्यूशन आई बिलीव वी हैव टू लुक फॉर द सोल्यूशन इक्वल इन दिस्ट्री आज वेल लाइक इन अ वे लाइक इट जस्ट बिकॉज द वेरी you know origin of this problem is lies in the ethnic tension and the yeah. cultural differences and the three so yeah, ha, yeah the mm. three communities as well right so what you know according to a uh, uh, lokur committee as well mm. yeah? so it recommended that that we should look for more cultural integration among these groups okay yeah? because as you have already mentioned that mitis are unable to you know cross mm. the uh, hilly region or hilly but yeah. yeah so the you know where the problem lies actually it lies in the cultural differences among this community mm. so by means of like the initiative that we have like you know ek bharat shreshth bharat hai na mm. or that the we are trying to promote a you know a, uh, what we all are same we all are same whether yes. meti ko ki no yeah. problem maybe, maybe yeah. there are some cultural differences between us but that doesn't mean we are so different but it say we are living in a diversity country exactly right? diversity is diversity. rather our strength a strength not not uh, uh, problem huh. it should not lead to you know a uh, kind of this conflict that we are as facing it as of now yes, so uh, the very first and i believe the very uh, best solution that rather lies to yeah. cultural integration among this uh, tribal region yes. okay apart from this equally that we should like uh, see like even if the methi people are demanding that they are outsiders like cookies mm-hmm. so m- not all of them i would say rather but mm-hmm. i believe their claim may be to some extent right in a mm-hmm. sense right mm-hmm. if they are having some claim so what we should have some you know uh, the uh, census like or the identity verification as well right right it just that is what given in the local like, concept like in the assam also you are telling nrc like concept right so that not necessary nrc mm-hmm. but the way at least because we have to fulfill their you know demands as well because if you want integration we have to look for their uh, you know what they are actually looking for mm. so if you have this kind of border surveillance needs to be ensured yes, for sure, yeah. yeah because sometime this kind of conflict rather being fueled from the outside forces mm. maybe having some their geopolitical advantage. but sir these people if these people could it could have come in mean, they they could have True. come 200 years ago yeah, not right. now not they are our citizens sir yeah, absolutely they are, citizens, they are part of our culture our now culture, they are citizen culture. absolutely mm. but what like in a sense ke if they are looking for hai na if they feel that ki there is some kind of issue yes, yes. so we at least could verify it no absolutely i am not in the favor that we should have like nrc yes. and we should you know move them out of our country so do no. you think uh, long in the long term solutions economic development can also be the issue yes sir there is absolutely no denial because economic development is the best contraceptive for this kind of violences Yeah, because economic development will ensure this fact that mm-hmm. they are focused rather than you know this kind of differences. Our focus would rather be on our strength. So these communities, those who are now looking more for a differences, would rather with this economic development, like they are having more uh, economic opportunity, employment, or industries and those established. So they will look for some you know some better opportunities. And these differences, I believe, would rather get. Uh, uh, normalize so we will conclude with this you only one with last question yeah. i want to ask and the our reader will also know that what would be the immediate like measure for this one siege fire ness our pm should intervene intervene into the matter some constitutional uh, like uh, measures we need some legal for some legal measures we need for this yes sir absolutely like uh, because the problem is not getting worse day by day mm. so what uh, uh, as you mentioned already that uh, the high political authority now need to intervene into the issue because yeah. so prime minister or you know the chief home minister, minister chief home minister, minister yeah. as well they are repeatedly call for so absolutely prime minister i believe should uh, like uh, they should like he should look for you know to solve the crisis as early as possible cease fire it needs to be ensured again mm. that we should equally ensure you know the kind of uh, the uh, you know the armed trafficking that is equally going on there you know mm. that is drug trafficking that is equally one of the reason so we should have this kind of solution as well to ensure and law and order should be prevailed you know it should be at the very first Yes, sir. as we have also seen in the past also, there were so many problems in India. Like we have 1984 riots happened. Yeah, we have right. solved that yes, problem. Yes, right. Uh, some problems were there. We have solved Hyderabad problems. We have so we have solved problems. So we learn from history also, sir. The history will tell you how to solve how to solve the problems. Yeah. So we have experts are there. The point is that we should intervene into the matter. Our national leadership should intervene, and life is important. 
life every is life is important exactly. yes. so valence skills i remember one thing that in a war human die in a war a hmm. human die hmm. but in a valence humanity dies oh, so here yeah. sir humanity is dying not humans are dying so we should focus on that and it should be like uh, finish it, the cease cease fire should be done and there should not be continuity of violence if these, there are three types of people are living kuki methi or dinaga these uh, this is our cultural heritage and absolutely our cultural culture. diversity yes, it is not a differentiation okay so this problem needs to be solved and i hope that we pray to god also that the problem will be solved very soon okay hello student thank you for watching this video if you like any videos and if you want us to make any video than any topic Uh, like me at chess and other field are here we will bring other videos also next week so if you want in we us to make any video on any topic for upsc you can comment us in this video and we will prepare topic on that and we will bring that video on that topic okay students thank you for watching this video thank you